ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy D-Pain. Today I am replacing Brando. He's out having Sunday fun day with the fam. So I am here, boys and girls. I want to talk to you guys about Call of Duty and the quickest way to progress through your tiers so you can finally get that maximum 100 tier and open up all your things and that way you can get more reserve items as well. So the first thing to level up your tiers is zombies. First way to get zombies is First you get your daily tier skip if you reach round 15 in a classic game. Not only you can do that, you can basically do another tier skip while you're playing your 15 rounds of zombies. All you have to do is go over to your barracks section and look at your daily calling. So here it is. Mine today is 750 kills using assault rifles. You'll get a tier skip plus a thousand XP and plus 20 more nebula plasma so there you go in about 30 minutes getting about 750 kills with just an AR you will get two tier skips at about 30 minutes that is the quickest way right now to level up and get your tier skips now the second way is actually to go to blackout I would say blackout matches I would say it's about f 54 minutes in game time to actually level up one tier now for reserve cases the game knows it's about an hour and a half it's a little bit off from progressing through your tiers but that is the quickest way blackout you're in the game the most of the time unlike a uh, multiplayer where you have some time in between matches some downtime but once you're if you're in a blackout game you can either drop down real quickly, be alive for one or two minutes, drop hot, maybe shoot a few people, maybe get shot. But if you go to blackout and you land in an obscure location, just hang out a little bit, hide out, maybe not jump into the action as quickly. Maybe just uh, work your way up until you get to the final circle. That'll take you about 15, 20, maybe 25 minutes and you'll actually get a lot more tier progress than you actually jumping in hot, like I said before, and getting shot by the enemy. Or maybe you're maybe you drop in real quick and maybe you kill the enemy maybe you're just that good I don't know okay so that's the second way of uh, progressing through your tiers the third best way is actually going over to multiplayer now if you go into multiplayer there's some game modes that you want to check out and these are the game modes that you actually spend the longest time in the game that's the whole objective behind uh, progressing through your tiers no downtime not as much downtime I should say like in TDM there's countdowns and different stuff like that but the four best modes right now to progress through your tiers in multiplayer would be control which is uh, you take turns attacking defending the objective these game modes can be really long search and destroy that can be super long too as well as domination and safeguard if you go into maybe even if you go into overtime with safeguard you could literally be in the match almost 40 minutes doing the same thing I know some of you guys probably aren't big fans of doing safeguard some of you guys might not have as much fun as playing safeguard but um, that's the best way I would say in multiplayer right now is playing safeguard it takes the longest usually sometimes they can be quick games sometimes they can be long maybe if you have a competitive team maybe not I would say the only downfall with playing safeguard is I don't think there's as many people playing the game mode so some some of your loading times might take a little bit longer than usual but hey it's worth it but that is the third best way of progressing through your tiers now the fourth best way is awesome I just saw this today and it's in black uh, blackjack shop so if you go over here and look at the new uh, buyable item because it used to be party rock the reactive camo you used to get five tier boosts five percent tier boost which you actually end up gaining a maximum tier boost of 25 percent is available for the remain of the operations once you complete all the tiers through this so you can either go through and buy uh the party rock camo or you can actually go through and maybe go uh go play and buy the the distraction this is a high steam this is a, a new uh theme for nomad so if you go through and buy this, you get a 5% tier boost. And then once you complete all five of those little tiers that you need to complete, bam, there you go, folks. You will have 25% available for the remainder of the operation. So I even kind of highly recommend that you go and buy one of these first. I know it's 800 cop points. Hey, some of us got extra cop points when we bought the game. If you bought a digital deluxe edition, you got extra cod points with it. And if you're lagging behind like I am a little bit, I'm only about mid-50s to completing the tiers, the progressions, and uh, the grand heist, you go ahead and buy this. 
Go do your zombies little tier stuff. Do uh, get your two tiers done there. You'll get the five and ten percent uh, tier boost after that. You have two tiers done, which will end up being like four because you'll get your two regular, and then you'll get the extra two that you need to unlock as well. And then obviously you'll get a gesture and your calling cards and stuff like that. I'm by no means telling you to buy these tiers, buy these items to the game, but I'm highly recommending that you buy one of these items here in the special orders that way you can progress through your tiers get through your tiers as much as you as fast as you can that way you can enjoy your items in your tiers before the next operation begins which is only in 57 days but that way you can get to your reserves the quickest I have 37 reserve cases I might do a video at 50 I might do a video at 100 reserve cases if you guys want to watch that video let me know down in the comments below but other than that guys that's all the information I have for you today uh, this is the best route, I would say, to progressing through your tiers. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please smash the like button. Please subscribe. Hit the notification button if you guys are new to the channel. Definitely hit, when you hit the notification button, make sure you select all the time. Not some uploads, all uploads. That way you never miss any Call of Duty news, any Call of Duty leaks, any other things that are related to Blackout, Black Ops 4, Zombies, or Multiplayer. So you guys can rely on me for number one Call of Duty news source. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And until next time, squids, I'll see you guys later. Ichiro.